welcome back to the American Dream, where we left off last time, we won the prom day, king and queen. Now we're turning age 19 and we're going to a drive-in, a history lesson, and move for the price of one. Who would have thunk that I would be doing so well? I want you, and I guess I'll take you. You're the same thing. And we also made $62, which is pretty cool. But now we're going to the drive-in movie theater in this beautiful, voluptuous world of people. Get in. Are there going to be other couples next to me? What am I doing here, actually? Oh, hello! As we forge onward towards the future, it's important to know where we've come from. Let's turn back the clock for a moment, look into the history of the beloved gun. Whoa! It all began when some Chinese folks discovered gunpowder. <laughs> in these ridiculous looking hand cannons. That's so loud! Some stuff happened over in Europe, but nobody really cares about that. What matters is, the gun eventually made its way to the shores of our sacred land. Turns out I'm enjoying this. pretty useful for taking out the redcoats in the Revolutionary War. <laughs> from the freshly smoking barrel of a gun, a the burger. United States of America was born. I love burgers. In the what years else that followed, the American people flourished and set about establishing Beer. systems that would position us as the most resourceful nation in the world. Woo! More we beer. added high precision machines that automated and sped oh, up no, the no. production of goods like beer. never before. Give me the beer. This process was called oh. the American System of Manufacturers, but later was simplified to <laughs> manufacturers. Chug, chug, chug. Moving along. Honestly, I didn't pay attention to a lick of that. I was literally just eating or eating, drinking my beer. When a bullet cannot solve a problem, use more bullets. <laughs> Meaning you live, die, or buy expensive cars based on your merits and ability to sell people things they don't need at outrageous prices. Uh-huh. I've got a car wash. A steady income allows you to pay for basic needs such as food, shelter, and high-powered firearms. That's why you've taken up a job as a car wash attendant. To hey! Help fellow citizens keep their vehicles shiny and squeaky clean. Would you look at that? This is quite the car wash, I'm well, not gonna lie. We'll require a bit more firepower than we've been used to. Oh, really? <gasps> Yay! Gimme, 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 I like guns. Cleaning tasks such as washing oh. cars, trimming stray nose hairs, and garden oh. maintenance. Oh, 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 gimme it. I want it right now. Congratulations, the Johnson. Good. Mag. Now catch it with your. That's the way. Insert it into the SMG as shown yes. in the diagram. Sensational! Your gun is loaded and ready to. I'm so roll. happy. Nothing's gonna stand in the way of you and your. I'm so answer. happy. Let's test Give me it. out this baby's firepower with a bit of target practice. The SMG. Oh, hello, ma'am. Automatic weapon. Allow me to you clean your car. The trigger, and it will continue to fire as long as there are bullets in the magazine. Try taking out all the targets in one sweeping motion. Squeaky clean. Nice work. You're on a kill streak. Now that you're equipped. Squeaky clean. With tool, let's put it to you. I'm so good at this. Minimum wage. But the good news is you don't have to work a minimum number of hours. Hold up, can I? You see how the bullets were reflecting? Okay, I, I tried to, but I don't want to run out of time. In the capitalist machine. I could only stop by for a short time. Luckily, our Look at it. Can be used to blast all the dirt Look, I'm 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 ahead of I'm ahead of this man. Look at this. I'm shooting cars that aren't even in here yet. But if you do completely clean a car, you'll get a nice pay bonus. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you dang right! Good as new. In the industry, there is a technique known as tactical reloading, where users will eject the magazine. No! Yo, I'm actually. 
What? Looks like it's just about time to wrap up with a... Oh, oh God! His stupid co-worker is sitting on the holes and it's out of control! God damn it, Earl! Turn off the hose! What do I do? What do we do? Ah, God, I'm sprayed in the face. Woo! I didn't think there was a second one. We did it. No, there's so many more. There's so many. I did not expect this. This is a hard day on the job. No! No! We did it! Holy crap! You're all lucky that I'm here. If I wasn't here, you'd all be dead. Bye! Bye, idiot co-workers that let the hose go crazy. Age 21. In fact, the baby boom of the 1950s was caused by Cupid getting a machine gun. I had no clue. But I have a date. Am I going to have sex in this game? I really hope so. I don't want those. Oh man. I got to give up my good gun. I have $120 and I can't buy better guns. Oh god, it's Taylor. Hi, Hi Taylor. Americans love one another very much. Uh <laughs> there comes a time when they carry out the age-old tradition of their romantic <laughs> and proposal. Whoa! And asks the other for their hand in marriage. Where are we? Are you proposing? Well, they get married and live happily ever after. If not, then it's it's quite awkward for for quite a while. <laughs> Hi Taylor. More you uh, you That's uh, right. good under there? Oh, oh, oh God! You don't have legs. So good to see you, dear. I didn't know. Where did, How was your day? Where did you lose your legs? But my day was great. How do I tell him that? Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> this is such a nice place you found. It's very romantic. Thank you. Dear Hello. Welcome to Le Barretta. You two are looking stunning tonight. And I can tell by the way that you are being banging your pistols on the table that you are ready to eat. Please <laughs> take a look at the many options about a menu. Whoa. I'm sure you will do something befitting this exquisite occasion. Whoa. Yo! Oh yeah, yeah, no, give me that. Oh shit, I hit my mic. Ah, the deluxe of the banquet. I'm legally obliged to tell you that the five people were sent to the emergency room after ordering that. Uh, you look like you have the constitution to handle it. I'll be yes, I do. Thank you. In a momento. Why are every one of these people staring at me? Let me explain proper gun etiquette at the dining table. Yes, in please. In front of you, you'll find several utensils, each for a different part of your course. Yeah. Simply use the gun starting from the outside and work inwards with each dish, smallest to largest. We want to impress Taylor, so let's deploy our best table manners and show her that you aren't some kind of ignorant savage. Okay, I grabbed the small gun. Thank you. Oh, that's the wrong gun. It is? A different one. You're on three. Oh, and and so oh, you oh. Enjoy your meal, my oh I see. Friends. Okay, so you use the that little guy. Simply divine. Honey, can you call the waiter to let him know we're done? Yes, of course. I, I just did. In Italy, we use our hands. However, this is America. <laughs> Are there any attackers the coming in? Dish is a Sardinian delicacy. I'm looking. Marzur, marzur, I'm ready. The finest cheese on the planet. Wait, you're telling me it's better than American cheese? Whoa. 
By that it's got beard of maggots in it. Maggots! Why? <laughs> oh! American cheese, which <laughs> no actual cheese, but a whole load of wonderful things like patriotism, reconstituted dairy, and rubber. Also, <laughs> I will fetch your dessert. Yay! Dessert! Wait a minute, this is the only little gun I have left. Oh, I lost my other little guns. The final course of our signature dessert, served in Russian style, I present to you Non Baretta's famous spicy chocolate truffle. Did she just say Russian style? The truffle is infused with the Calabrian demon chills, ranged from the ninth circle of hell itself. Their capsaicinoid concentration is so over charge that they actually melt the skull with skin. I knew this game was gonna take a take a turn. Hallucinations, eternal third degree burns, and profuse rectal hemorrhaging. Now we've got ourselves a game. Oh! Wait a minute. In one of the chambers in that revolver contains the truffle. Fire the gun into your mouth, and if you're lucky. You'll get a load of Nana Barretta's hot love. Did you put a gun in your mouth? Did you just smack me? No! Taylor's waiting. Get him out! I did no. it! I did- Ow! No. No, Ow! Him! Go on, pick up the revolver. Did he mow? So low! What the hell? My mouth's on fire! I knew this game was gonna get scary. Is it actually gonna get scary? Thank you. Seal the deal. Eh? 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 How do I do this? Yes, I will marry you. I love you. Alright! He said it's a, yes! It's a golden he gun! Put gun in his hand and pop that engagement ring on. Oh Wait, shit! So, my parents are out of town for the weekend. How about we swing over to my place for the night? Oh, Taylor's inviting you to his house! Taylor! Wait, let's go? Hold on a second. I'd really like to go back to the very beginning of the game where I chose Taylor. I lost $70? Oh my god. At least I still have 50 bucks. Moving on. We're going to Taylor's house. Hey Taylor, I know you don't probably get this often, but uh... I want to stick my barrel inside your barrel. You see... You were produced by a method called sexual intercourse. <laughs> well, the ratings board wouldn't want me going into nitty gritty details, but I'll try to explain it in simplified terms that you can understand. Thank you. Guide to sexual intercourse in the American Eye Association. We need a sperm cell and an egg. Think of the wow. sperm cell as a bullet and the egg as its target. Uh -huh. The shooter will position themselves to fire a barrage of bullets towards the target. And yes. even though it may take the shooter many attempts, and they might have to wait until the target is in the right mood to be shot at, the uh -huh. shooter will eventually penetrate the target with one of their bullets. <laughs> this process is called conception. Think of it like the genesis of America, born from the many bullets piercing the bodies of our enemies. Anyway, uh -huh. around nine months later, a healthy baby will be born into the world. Yeah. And that's where you came from. This is beautiful. Once yes. you've used a variety of guns for mid to long range encounters, when the task calls for something a bit more up close and personal, uh -huh. we have the trusty shotgun. Uh <laughs> Dragon breath shells. Yes. Shotgun. 
At short range, pellet dispersion and conical spread guarantees blasts that are potent and powerful for those especially intimate excellence. I'm sure those targets felt the force of your passion. The Steinberg also has a special function. Am I if about to have sex with a shotgun? You can charge up your I mean, to get that I'm not really a one-pump chump, you know? Bump it up a few times until you can see smoke coming from the gun. There we go. Woo Fired up and ready for action. Now shoot down the rest of those targets with flaming shots. Boom shakalaka. Talk about a fiery passion. Make sure to use the flaming shots when you want to get things a bit more heated than usual. Gotcha. I guess it's time for bed. Traditionally, partners slept in separate beds to discourage inappropriate behavior. Yes. That's correct, yes. Oh! Whoa, what Ooh. are you doing? Cut that out. This is getting a bit too romantic. Uh, yeah, it is. Wait, candles? Don't you dare light those up. Oh! Don't get me started. It's getting hot in here. Mmm. Mmm. Are you horny, baby? Mm. Do I make you horny, baby? Wait, what? Oh boy, rose petals. <laughs> definitely starting to look like fire, a Taylor. Mm. Yeah, fire that gun. Woo! He just fired the lights out. Why don't we get those clothes off of you? Whoa! Ooh. Well, if you're gonna do it, just as we practice safe gun use. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, are you even listening? Hey! Am I getting fucked in that? I feel... Am I shitting? <laughs> what? So, you're just gonna sit there forever in your own stench, huh? I truly hope I don't need to spell out what needs to happen here. Um... So there might be some residue on your muzzle, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe you could stand a polish? Are you gonna clean that shit up?